Hi guys, John the Firearms Instructor and welcome back to our channel. I'm glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, my name is John Johnson. I'm the owner and operator of Firearms Training Facility in beautiful Cape Coral, Florida. Today is February the 28th and it's like 89 degrees outside. That's why we live in Florida. Uh, we're here today to talk about cleaning and breaking down weapons. Uh, we're going to break down the Smith & Wesson Equalizer it's a little bit different than most other pistols because you have a backstrap safety on it and there's a lot of stuff. But I wanted to go over a little bit of tools you may need, you may have, you may not understand what to do to clean a weapon. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do or a lot of stuff you could do. <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff that people don't do. So cleaning a pistol is not complicated. It's just there's some parts and, and, and areas you need to start with. So what I did is I went in the store here today and I pulled a bunch of the cleaning kits that we sell. And pretty much, I don't know if you know it, but a 9mm, a 38, a 357, and a 38 Special are all the same circle diameter. And a, a 9mm cleaning kit would clean a 38, a 357, or and a 380. So... We don't need to buy one kit for every gun we have. Saw these are multi-use. Uh, this kit right here is a rifle, shotgun, handgun, air rifle. It's got all the jags, all the pieces, and all the parts. If you don't have a ton of other weapons, this kit is kind of great. But there's a lot of parts you just don't need in it. So why invest the $29 to $35, whichever way you buy these kits, for all those pieces and parts that you don't need. Now, uh, we have actual the Hoppies kits here. This is the R Store kit. This is Jacob's kit. Don't tell him I'm using it. Uh, he'd be mad at me for taking it out of his box. But I have them for sale here. They're, that's a full kit. But this kit here comes with the solvent. It comes with the oil. It comes with the jag. It comes with the, the, the I call it a needle head, which holds the fabric. Sort of looks like this. And it holds the fabric as you run it down the barrel and everything else like that. I'm sure there's some other name it's called, but I call it a needle head. And it covers, it has the jags as well, the actual copper jags that are in here as well. And this is a solid kit here. And now they make these called boar snakes. With the boar snake itself is one swipe of this through the barrel, cleans it. If you oil this piece here, we'll lubricate it and do everything you need in one single swipe as you pull it through the barrel. And we're going to demonstrate this today because I think this is great for newbies because you don't need a lot of equipment at home to have this. This is very simple. I always have these at the house. I put them in a Ziploc bag. I put oil on them and I keep them in the Ziploc bag. When I pull them out, it's already got some oil on it already. It's already got some cleaning equipment on it here. And you just slip this through the barrel and pull it through. And that makes it a real simple cleaning kit at that point in time. Uh, but, you know, these are inexpensive. I think this one for 9mm 38, it says 9mm only on it, but it'll do a 38, it'll do a 357, it'll do a 380. And I think this was like $12, pretty inexpensive. Now, they do make the 123 kits. This They come in 223, 556, they come in uh, 12 gauge, they come in 9mm. This one here says 9mm 123 kit. 357, 38, all together in one package. It gives you the oil, it gives you the bore cleaner, it gives you the lubrication, and you just put it through the barrel twice, and you're done. And that's kind of a neat little deal there. So these are, I think these are like $26 or something like that. A little expensive for what you get, but as well, uh, it is something you could have. A lot of times, like Jacob's kit, which I showed you earlier, is a true kit. You actually could close it up and you can store it away. It makes it simple and easy. So let's, we'll be right back. I'm going to move all this stuff out of here and we're going to break down this uh, equalizer. We'll be right back. 
All right, guys, we pulled the equalizer uh, out and I want to break it down for you. I want to go through how to take the weapon apart. I think this is going to be important. It was a little learning curve for me and I want to make sure I share it with you because these are very popular. And in the old shield, basically all you do is take, put the gun at slide lock and then re remove the magazine and then engage the trigger and the slide would come off. Because of this back strap safety, it causes the mechanism to lock up a little bit. So when we're putting this gun at slide lock, we never want to engage this back strap safety. So the very first thing you always want to do when you're thinking about cleaning a gun is, you know, make it safe. And what's that mean? We want to check to make sure the gun's completely unloaded. I know it's unloaded, but we want to verify it's unloaded. And how do we do that? We take the magazine out. We'll set that aside, and then we will rack the slide multiple times. We'll set the gun at slide lock, and we will pinky check it, verify it, look through it, and make sure we know this is an empty gun. Okay, so now that we know it's an empty gun, now that we know the weapon's at slide lock, this is where we start to break down the weapon. If you look right here, at this lever right here, you're going to take this down, and it counterclockwise, so pull it down. It's at three, you wanna pull it to six. With the gun at slide lock just like this, then you're gonna take the gun off slide lock by taking your thumb and pulling it forward and just pull it forward and boom, it takes it completely apart. Now, the gun is apart at that point in time. We're gonna take the frame of this right now and we're just gonna move it to the side over here and this is where we're gonna work with this top part, which has the slide, it's called the slide assembly, and right here is your spring. You're gonna reach your thumb in, grab a hold to this, and pull that completely out. We'll set that aside. And then if you look right here, is your barrel. We'll just push that forward, lift it up, and there the weapon is apart. Now, we have these two containers that one's your solvent and one's your oil. This is your bore cleaner right here and you wanna saturate all these pieces. By the way, if you notice, I put down some sacrificial stuff here because we're gonna be using some of these uh, oil and it may get other places and you don't wanna get it all over your house. So as a small oil bottle, we're going to wet all the stuff in here and kind of really saturate and lubricate it. And that way when you're getting this, that's just going to break down all the powder that didn't burn off. And we're going to do the same thing with the barrel. I like doing a lot of this stuff prior to just cleaning the gun. I'm just saturating it as much as I can. And as I saturate it, it's going to break down all the bad powder and the carbon fibers and all that stuff that's done. And we'll do the same thing with the magazine top. From the magazine top itself. And then we're going to do on top of here. Now it's very important that we don't get ourselves and don't put a lot of oils or stuff back in here. But we do want to use some lubrication and a little bit of stuff, and we put it all in here. Now, we have, there's a couple different things you can use. You can use a toothbrush, you can use a bore cleaner of some kind, you can use a lot of different stuff. Um, let me see if I can get a toothbrush real quick. I use a lot of the fabrics that, hand me the fabric, hand me that fabric there, Jake. You can use a lot of the stuff, a lot of these kits come with fabric. Behind the scenes right now, Jacob's running around trying to find a toothbrush, and I'm not sure if we're going to find one. But you want to try to get all this black stuff off the best you can. And we start with the magazine while these things here are just getting uh, loosening up all the carbon fiber. So the carbon that builds up on these guns is very high, and we want to wipe it all down and get all the, the, the residue away. Works a lot easier for us if we do that. There we go. There's that. 
do the same thing with your spring assembly. Use some of this and just wet it down the best you can. All right, and then we're going to wipe the outside of the gun and kind of work all the stuff. And the real important part is down here because every time we shoot a gun, you get more and more powder residue that gets all in this thing. If you kind of look at this white rag, look what's happening to it. You're trying to get all this out of the gun the best you can. And when we do that and keep going as we do it, it makes it easier and easier next time we clean because we're getting, we don't leave all this stuff on there. So there, what it used to look like. And then what we try to do is we'll grab another one of these and do it again, make sure that that cloth isn't as dirty as those cloths. So you kind of play in here a little bit and kind of work in here. And if you notice, I'm not going real crazy. I'm not spending a thousand hours doing this. This should take you very little time to get this thing all cleaned up the best you can. You saw that one there gets a little bit more. There's the next one and we just do it one more time. If you notice, each one of these cloths are getting cleaner and cleaner as we do them, okay? So you had the first one, the second one, the third one, all right? So now we have that done. And now let's work on the barrel itself. And this is where the snake comes in, because the snake makes it so easy. We're going to take this part of it. We're going to drop it through and pull it through. Now what this is going to do is this is going to take the saw, all the, all the stuff, all the, all the fouling out of the rifling. It's going to do all that stuff like that and pull it right through as we do it. Boom. There we go. Now we can drop a little bit more of that solvent right here and kind of do that again. The first time I did it, what I did is I put it through dry just to pull some of that stuff out of the rifling of the of the barrel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it through with the solvent. Remember, I put solvent in the barrel to begin with to let it start let it start breaking down some of the powder residue. And as I pull this through, you just pull it through just like that, and boom. Now we look inside it just to see how it is. And I'm not sure if I can get that in the camera, but that right there is a pretty clean barrel. You can see right through it. You look through the rifling. This feed ramp is important. You always want to make sure these feed ramps get cleaned up pretty well. So you put a little bit of oil on that feed ramp and you wipe that off. By the time you get done with that, that should be a little cleaner than it was. And there we go. So now we've got that. We've got that okay. I'm going to grab some of this oil that I have here. And I'm going to put on a little dab right here. As well as a little dab on each piece of equipment as I put it back in. And then we're going to take it and wipe, wipe, wipe. Then I'm going to slide it right through the assembly, flip it around, this goes in first, close that up, get a little bit of oil on this, we already cleaned this, but we'll do this is the, a little bit there, then you're going to take, there's a flat end, do you see that? You have the flat ends, the oval, just like that, then you have rounded ends, the flat ends are to the side, and the rounds are or on top and bottom. So now you have that, boom, boom. And that slides right in there, just like that. Now we take this when we're done and we got it all cleaned up here. We're gonna take the top and the bottom. Now, what's important, we didn't do a lot of cleaning on this, but we wanna make sure we get all the residue. That's where a nice toothbrush, I should have got a toothbrush to do some of this, but we do these videos by the seat of our pants. Sometimes we forget to grab stuff, but this, but basically a toothbrush would help you clean this a lot better. 
if you're going to use a toothbrush, make sure it's not yours. Make sure it's your uh, uh, somebody you don't like because you don't want to use that toothbrush for anything else besides what you're using in your gun kit. So if you look here, guys, these two lips right here, these two lips is what goes on when we slide this back on to the frame. So we're going to take this. See that right there? And we're going to slide this on top. I'm going to make sure I get this to the camera. Can you see that okay? This slides all the way down, all the way down. There it goes on. Now what you're going to do is you're going to push it forward and bring this back to 3 o'clock. And at that point in time, check it a couple times for make sure you put it together right. And now we are going to just oil the gun and leave no fingerprints behind. You don't want to over oil, but you want to make use enough oil on it that it keeps it nice and lubricated. And all you do is take now, you take a piece of rag, you can wear it, you can use a t-shirt, you can use a pair of cotton panties, anything you want to do like that to make your little pieces. At the end, right, we use sheets once in a while, and we take the sheet itself, and we just kind of clean it up the best you can. Clean it up. And then there is a clean gun. Now, I took a little longer time than normal due to the fact that I was trying to videotape this. And what I always do is after I've oiled it and done everything, I bring it back to slide lock one more time. And the cool thing about the boar snake is I am going to leave a, uh, some lubrication into the barrel itself. And how do I do that? I take my oil like I did my, my solvent base, and I just take it and drip a few pieces of that on this rope itself, on this boar snake. And then I'm going to take the weapon itself, hold it in my hand, take the snake rope, slide it through. It comes through pretty easy. And then we're going to pull it all the way through. And this puts oil all the way through the barrel once. And I probably would do it twice. Okay, and I'm going to pull it through. Now this is a great thing to teach your, your family how to clean a gun. And you can see these, these boar snakes makes it so easy and so simple. Oh, there we go, guys. Now we have a, close, we have a clean Smith & Wesson equalizer. And it's got all the oil back on it. And it's ready to go back into service, ready to run. There is a lot of stuff you have to do with your magazines themselves, but they do get dirty. If you kind of look up here, you've got a little bit of black on there. You can work your magic and get them clean here. Now, if you drop these magazines in the sand or something like that, they can get crumbed up pretty well. But, you know, the magazines are what they are. We put a little bit of oil on them just to keep them lubricated enough. It is a piece of metal. It's not plastic. So we live in Florida. We have a lot of moisture. So you always want to lubricate pistols the best you can. Close it all up. Check the gun at sly lock one more time. Close it up. And that's as simple as it is, guys. Now that we've cleaned the gun, we could do another pistol, two pistols, three pistols, rifles the same way. It's simple and easy. Probably the nice thing about the ropes is you do not have to take the gun completely apart to do it. You could run the barrel. You could take the magazine out, put the gun at slide lock, run your, your uh, toothbrush in here, run your boar snake, and it's an easier thing to do uh, than taking the gun completely apart all the time. You know, you really should take your gun apart completely and clean it completely, you know, every third time you go to the range. But between times, you could simply just use the bore snake, make sure the barrel stays clean, break down the carbon in the barrel, and break down the carbon into your firing pin area there. Uh, that's as simple as it is, guys. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm going to clean all this stuff up, and we're going to finish this video. Public service announcement. 
don't do this in the house. It stinks really bad. Uh, the family's not going to be happy with you. Uh, but it, it is something that needs to be done. You can do it in the garage. You can do it anywhere. You're, you're not going to come out spotless. You don't wear a good shirt. Don't wear your tuxedo when you're cleaning your guns. Uh, but you see it's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's pretty simple and easy. Uh, whether you buy a kit, whether you buy a boar snake, whether you buy a full kit, it's simple and easy. We're going to be doing a bunch of these breakdowns for you guys to teach you how to break down the weapons and, uh, and clean them. Uh, I think it's just as important as knowing how to shoot a gun, as how to maintain it and keep it working oper uh, properly. A weld-oiled machine will stay working for a long period of time. It is your responsibility to make sure that your whole family knows how to load, unload, and clean any weapon that's in your home. Uh, uh, you know, this is part of your uh, safety gear, and you need to make sure that you're aware of it. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but this boar snake is one thing that I would add into my range bag and always have it in my range bag because the range, the boar snake, not only does it have fabric in there for oil, but it's got your little snake things as well. It gives you the brass, brass of wire brushes in here as well. And it's a one pull, two pull, three pull, you're done. You oil it once, you break it down once, and you clean it one more time, wipe the gun down, it's pretty simple and easy. I think if I would have stopped talking so much and just did it, uh, it probably would take less than three minutes, four minutes. Mr. Jacob, my boy, he cleans guns a lot. He'll do, a, he'll do two, three pistols uh, in, in a very short period of time. Um, uh, he's got it down to a science. You ever need a gun cleaned here, folks? You get down here, Mr. Jacob will show you for free. Uh, uh, it, he teaches you to fish. He doesn't fish for you. And it's important that you know how to do, how to work, and how to service any weapon that you have in your home. Guys, that's it for me today. But if you like what we do here, I really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. And every time we do a video, you guys will be the first to know. Until next time, God bless, be safe, and remember, you are your first line of defense. We'll see you folks.